Hi Libra, this is Char uh, from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. Sorry I'm a little bit late with your videos. I've been busy updating my uh, website so you can see all the new videos and reviews that I've done and also the video on the competition. Then you don't have to scout around um, the YouTube channel and playlists to find the video on the competition and the reviews. This is the shadow deck. You, uh, you've you seen me use it if you are a cyber angel, a returning uh, viewer and I think it's awesome that you like and share and that you join in the life. I do give out free cards and I also answer questions uh, that are supported with the donation and coming back on the competition you can win this deck the beautiful uh, Shadowland Tarot deck if you join the competition and if you are a member. Go and have a look at the video, uh, the competition video and you can find out all the details, what you can do and what you have to do in order to come into consideration of winning this deck. In the second place we've got the Vice Versa deck and in the third place we've got a free reading for 20 minutes. Okay, please maintain uh, subscribing and hit the bell and sharing and liking. What I will do last uh, with the romance cards, I had a lot of hits. Gemini was the highest and then it was Capricorn over 100 hits. So I am building my channel also because I would love to help and reach a lot of people as much as possible. So everybody can enjoy a free card. So please share with family and friends. So I'm going to get into your reading and remember there's always uh, a lot of information below the video in the description box and the little white circle uh, will take you to the website and that's where you can find all the beautiful information that's been uploaded and put there. Okay, and you can see this deck for instance, you can see other reviews that I've done I'm using two decks that I've done reviews on and I'm going to start this reading off with a psychic reading. Alright. Libra, uh, have you got a cold or do you find it stifling? It's like if you can't breathe uh, at the moment very well sometimes or you, you when somebody walks into the room there's one specific person that you feel stifled. Choking, that's what I'm getting the feeling of. You are also very much in your head at the moment and you're thinking things over and over or rather you're mulling. You're, something is gnawing at you. Could it be about finances or are you just generally out of whack? I also see that there are opportunities for you, new opportunities, and you're hesitant to take them on. I feel also that you you are taking on too much hay on your fork. You're taking on too much, um, and now you've come to a point I can't cope anymore. It's choking me. Right, I don't know. It's this word choking. Okay, you've got the ones. Well, the three of ones, that means that your boats are coming in. Look at that. You see the boat coming in. Abundance is coming in. So, work off this these projects and then you won't feel so stifled. Okay. Then you've got the three of swords. You might have had some losses. Or you might have lost somebody or something. This could be a job, this could be a loved one, this could be a pet, this could be something that you've lost insight. You've lost, like I said, stifling, you've, you've lost control. 
it's not only loss of the, the three of swords um, means sadness yes it is always emotional if you lose something or, or someone but you know you have to come out open your eyes take those glasses off see what is around you not just what is in front of you and don't hide your emotions talk to somebody about it I used to be scared of the tower and of the three of swords I don't didn't don't didn't like those cards but this deck has made it easier for me I'm seeing a lot more in a, in a card okay you can look good but you might not feel good you're hiding away from your true self you've got the seven of pentacles you have dreams and goals and when I see this card oh sorry the seven of pentacles uh, what did I say I had the seven of cups in my head so that might be significant to somebody perhaps that is what you've lost you've lost your dreams your goals because of the COVID what you sow you shall reap perhaps you've lost the belief that you can't reap anymore what you've sown try to get a different perspective try to get a different perspective take those glasses off and look at it more closely do more research start and I did say in the psychic things you don't want to finish off things you should you you don't want to take on anymore but what you've taken on it might be one you know what you have taken on finish it but there might have been something that you've planted seeds and now is the time to take it on but be more ch cho uh, choosy you've got a heavy load on you I know that that's what I'm saying that's why you can't take on anymore but the end is in sight okay there's new beginnings new beginnings now the bottom of the deck is the hermit yes I did say you're um, hiding away the hermit also means there might be a Virgo around you there might be a Virgo around you meditate um, uh, contemplate and that's what you have to do contemplate on these seeds look further than your beak is long or your nose take those glasses off it might look scary that's like these these fly catchers use your intelligence use your talk do the walk you can walk you can do the talk both of them you are the communicate one of the communicators you're an air sign so go for it Libra don't go and sit there oh feeling sorry for yourself there's also people around you that love you so you can always ask for help yes be careful of people that can take advantage of you snakes in the grass be careful of contracts you are a good businesswoman or man so do the walk and the talk talk them out of it like I said talk them talk them out of it if necessary because your boats are coming in and this is the card underneath your boats so if somebody something is coming in that's imported then check the paper you've got seven luck is on your side and you've got the Queen of Wands okay so there might be um, the Queen of Wands the Queen of Wands is Leo there might be a Leo around but don't exclude Sagittarius and Aries okay they might be a snake in the grass they the Queen of uh, Wands she goes for what she wants so in the good sense take a page out of her book be creative about it have a look at it again it might have been a seed that you've sown a couple of months ago could be seven months ago six months ago and it's coming to fruition now because everything takes time to grow you've got the letter you might be signing official documents like I said contracts import papers 
Okay. You've got number 27. Something is coming to an end. And you've got the Seven of Swords. Somebody's been sneaky. So there is a warning for you here. So perhaps you didn't see it. And perhaps you lost the contract. Because they had a better spiel for the, the client. It could have been your client. It will become your client if you take the glasses off and count your losses because you've already sown the seeds before he or she got there. Okay? Somebody's being sneaky. So don't walk around with eyes closed or blinkers on. Okay? You've got the cross. Have faith in yourself and the situation. Trust yourself. And trust the situation. Forewarned is forearmed. Again, 36. An ending. Two nines next to each other. And the six of rods. Victory. You're going onwards and upwards. Forwards. You've got, you've got victory. You've got public recognition. The truth will come out. Okay? Make choice and decisions. Make sure you cover your tracks. You are very secure in what you do. I know that, Libra. Because you are the card of justice in the big arcana. So justice will be done. Look at that. You'll get a visitor. You'll get news. A new beginning. Or you might go and visit somebody. And you've got the Nine of Cups in the corner. Nine of Cups. So your wish is and can come true. Okay, and you've got the mice. So somebody has pinched something that didn't belong to him. That could be a client. That could be a job. That could be something that you're worried about. You lost. It's You're not losing it. Many hands make light work. So club together do more research and see whether this person has done it to anybody else you've got seven of wands you can defend yourself you can stand your ground you're stronger than what you think you are number five you're out of balance you will be back in balance because your wish is coming true so long you do the work and take off these blinkers your boats will come in the other cards are positive the um it's been a tough time a heavy load to bear but only a couple of steps and you're there you're finished number one nine evaluate meditate contemplate think things through before but don't take too long you cause procrastination you're a giant in that so don't procrastinate ask for help it could be a queen of wands that could help you who else can help you or a Virgo a Virgo Wow because you've also got the six of one, uh, six of ones and that means victory so victory can be yours and you're the justice guy in the big arcana so you know what to do sort it out look at the small print in contracts there is a loophole that's what I'm being told there is a loophole find the loophole and then you find the answer okay engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment that could be in the love life but it could also be at work okay you will uh, um, you will ascend to a higher level of uh, commitment if you get the information that you need to let the truth come out I'm using the love cards the romance cards also in a business sense or in a general sense because the mice means stealing loss but if you've got positive cards around you news uh, you've got luck because this is number one new beginning you've got luck somewhere number seven and number seven luck is all around you you will find uh, what you're seeking okay you will find the loophole and if you uh, if you 
if it is too heavy then ask for help mice work in teams and uh, bad news travels fast that's what I'm also hearing so you will find out you will find out so you've got three sevens one two three sevens the seven of uh, ones okay and don't don't also mice gnaw so don't let something gnaw in your head take action can't say it enough green angel feather now green means money for me space health and family okay um, and the heart chakra so open your heart open your solar plex come out of your shell like I said in the beginning angels would like to take some time alone to gain a fresh perspective on your life yes there you go simple things be happy with simple things uh, Libra because you can do it but don't procrastinate get into action open your heart so you can receive open your mind take those blinkers off okay and confront people if you don't trust them okay confront people what are you doing you don't belong there blah 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 so tell them but in a neat and right way be true to your star sign justice the truth will come out always okay I hope you've enjoyed this reading my darling take care and be blessed love you and I hope to see you in the life Monday Wednesday or Friday or all nights <laughs> and I hope you've enjoyed the romance readings the seven month uh, update on the yearlies and last week's and next week I will start with the highest thumbs up from last week so make sure you click that and then you might be the first one ciao ciao